Okay, this is Neil Moncrief again, um, continuing my demonstration of my problems with this N-Lite uh, glucose sensor. Uh, what I'm showing you right now is the box. Uh, I'm trying to hold this steady so you can get the batch number and everything that uh, you might need off of this label. I'm taking this video for the people at uh, Minimed or Medtronic, hoping that they can use this information to fix these. Um, I've worked in manufacturing. I know a manufacturing defect when I see one. Uh, this is not the way these are supposed to work. Anyway, um, I have had two boxes of these. They both came with my starter kit. Uh, maybe I'll show you this information as well. Uh, both of these boxes contained five of these sensors and I have finished one box and I've got one sensor still in the box and I've got one sensor that's not working properly in my abdomen. So that's where I stand right now. This one that I'm inserting, I'm having problems with. I'm about 30 minutes into it right now and I've given up. I have been twisting, pulling, poking, and as you can probably see by the color, bleeding. Um, so I've given up. I'm trying to pull this thing out. It's not coming out. Um, my next step is going to be just uh, rip the thing out uh, with the needle um, in place. That's not going to uh, feel very good, I'm sure. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera down and um, just do it the best way I can. I'm going to try to videotape it, so this may take me a minute to set up. But uh, hopefully I'll be back and be able to show you the removal process. And again, this is not the way this device is supposed to work. I've had several of these that went in with no trouble whatsoever. Uh, what's supposed to happen is this device goes in uh, using the uh, inserter device. You put your fingers on the base of it with one hand, and uh, the, with the other hand you remove the part that's protruding uh, from the abdomen, the part that's sticking perpendicular to my skin. Uh, however, three, four, maybe five times now, uh, I've had problems. I've called Minimed several times. Every time I call them, uh, the person who answers the phone, usually a woman, will say, oh, well, I'm sorry, I've never heard of that problem before. Uh, the next time it happens, um, I think the last person I spoke to said, send us the one back and uh, we'll examine it and, uh, you know, we'll send you a free one. So I'm going to do that. I intend to send this back to Minimed, but I want to find out if I'm doing anything wrong. I followed the directions. I mean, I'm, I'm a smart guy. I'm not an idiot. I'm doing this right. Um, but anyway, I'm just documenting this uh, in hopes that it will help the people at Minimed to see just how serious this problem is. If I'm the only one, if I'm, if I'm going to take the time to videotape it and um, post it so that the folks at YouTube can see it, surely there are other people that are having the same problem. Uh, other than this, though, I do want to say that this is a fantastic device. I'm, I'm not very happy with it right now, but by and large, I'm extremely happy with my continuous glucose meter uh, and the way it works with my insulin pump. So hopefully. Uh, mini Med will get this problem fixed, so I won't have to go through this. All right, I'm going to uh, set the camera up again now so that I can uh, remove this from my skin.